Okay, if you're taking any sort of algebra class, you're definitely going to need to be able to handle a problem like this. And here's the situation. We have a line, y equals 3x plus 5, or a linear equation. And we want to find another line that's parallel to this line. And this other line passes through the point 4, 2. Okay, so what we want to do, again, is find a line that's parallel to uh, y equals 3x plus 5 and pass us to the point 4, 2. Again, uh, this might seem like a complicated problem. It's not that complicated, but it does require a lot of skills that you learn about linear equations, i.e. lines, and how to write the equations of line. So that lines, and this is extremely important, again, in algebra. So if you think you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually going to show you the solution here in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to explain exactly what you need to do in order to find uh, this line that's parallel to this line and passes through this point. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, you need assistance in mathematics, check out my Math Help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section on it, I'll talk about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam or a college uh, placement exam like the Alex or AccuPlacer. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning uh, uh, courses for homeschoolers for middle and high school mathematics. I'm um, really happy about uh, my progress with working with homeschoolers. I've been working with them for many, many years. So if you homeschool, that's something you definitely want to check out. Hopefully you have awesome math notes. If you do not, you need to work and improve on being an awesome note taker, um, as this will uh, really benefit you in learning mathematics. But if you need some notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer right now. Then we're going to talk about exactly how to solve this problem. So here is our line. We have a line y equals 3x plus 5, a line that's parallel to this line that passes through this point 4, 2, is this line right here, y equals 3x minus 10. This is the answer. Okay, so how did you do? If you got this right, well, let me go ahead and give you a nice little happy face. Matter of fact, I want to give you an A plus plus, a 120% multiple stars. I know uh, back in my days, in the 70s and 80s, the best you can do, like in terms of a GPA, would be like a 4.0 GPA. And then the best you could do on a test was like maybe like 100%. But nowadays, uh, students get like, you know, 175%. And the GPAs are like 9.2. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Okay. So the more stars, the more rewards you can get for knowing what you're doing in terms of mathematics is pretty cool. But anyways, listen, Nice job if you got this right. But if you didn't get this right and if you think that, um, you know, you're just completely lost, well, stick around. I'm going to go ahead and explain this right now. And I think a good way to see this problem is to actually see it. Okay, let's go ahead and see it or visualize it. So we have a line, okay, our linear equation, which is the equation of a line. So here's y equals 3x plus 5. If you wanted to kind of graph this line, this would have the y-intercept of 5. This is just a quick sketch here. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this line here has a slope of 3. So it rises up 3, run of 1. So something like this, right? So we're looking for another line that's parallel. Okay, so this is the symbol that we use for parallel in geometry. And what does that mean? Well, they're like basically railroad tracks, right? They're not going to touch. So we're looking for a line that's parallel to this line and passes to the point 4, 2. So 4, 2 might be like right here, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 4, maybe 1, 2, something like right there. So this line is parallel to this line and passes through this point 4, 2. So this is kind of a visual way to see the problem. And what we're looking for is the equation to this line. Okay, so you need to be able to find the equation of a line. Now, when you're looking to write the equation of a line, you need two specific pieces of information. Okay, you need one point that's on the line. Okay, so looking at this uh, problem, do we have one point that's on the line? Yes, we do. It's right here. We have that point four two, 
And the other piece of information we need is the slope. Okay, do we have the slope of this line? Well, in fact, we do have the slope of this line, and that would be our m, okay, because lines that are parallel to one another have the same slope. Okay, this m is the same as this m. Remember that word slope is just basically an angle. It's the steepness of this line. So any uh, lines that are parallel to one another have the exact same slope value. So the slope of this line right here is three. That means that the slope of this line is also going to be three. Okay, so this really distills down to the question of finding the equation of a line in terms of y equals mx plus b. We typically want to write our answers in what we call a slope-intercept form. And uh, this uh, line has a slope of 3 and passes to the point 4, 2. Again, we know it has a slope of 3 because our, uh, our first line has a slope of 3, and lines that are parallel to one another have the same slope. So really this comes down to can you find the equation of a line with a slope of three and uh, passes to the point four two. Okay, now this requires uh, you know you to have um, those kind of skills in order to do this. But this is absolutely critical uh, for you to be successful in algebra. And there's two approaches you can take. You can actually use this uh, slope-intercept equation or formula to find the actual answer. But that's not going to be the way that I'm going to su uh, suggest you do this problem. Let me go ahead and show you exactly the way I'm going to do it and the way I suggest that you um, do these problems. And that is to always use this point slope equation. So this is the point slope formula, point slope equation. Uh, you certainly need to understand the slope intercept uh, form of a line. And for a lot of problems, this is actually the easier formula to use. But in this particular case, it's much easier to use this point slope formula. Now, if you don't really understand that, make a note of that. You really want to follow through and be able to learn how to find the equation of lines or write the equations of lines. Uh, and that's after you learn how to graph lines. But let's go ahead and see how this works. So um, here, I'm going to circle the things that we're going to plug in. Okay. So as I indicated, to find the equation of a line, we need to know the slope. And here we do, and that's three. So this right here in our formula, M, is the slope. So we're going to plug in a three for this M. But let's talk about this Y1 and X, uh, this Y1 and this X1 here. Well, remember, we're dealing with an X, Y uh, point or an ordered pair. Okay, this first number is X. This second number is Y. So this is our X1 and our Y1. Okay, so for X, we're going to plug in four. And for Y, we're going to plug in two. Okay, and you can see here, that's exactly what I did. So we have y minus y1, which is our 2. Okay, it's equal to 3, which is our slope, times x minus 4. 4 here is our x1. And so we're going to go plug in all, we're going to plug in all the values into the point slope formula. And now we're going to go ahead and simplify. So the first thing you do after you uh, plug in all your values into the formula is use the distributive property. So that's going to be 3 times x, and this 3 times that uh, times that negative 4. So we're going to get uh, 3x minus 12. So we have y minus 2 is equal to 3x minus 12. So we're going to solve for y by simply adding 2 to both sides of the equation to get y all by itself. So you're going to get y is equal to 3x and negative 12 plus 2 is a negative 10. And there you go. You can see that this line is in y equals mx plus B form. Okay, so we are done, and this is how you get the equation of a line that's parallel to another line. But let's go ahead and take a look at this line. Okay, and uh, you know, if you looked at this line, y equals 3x minus 10, does this make sense? Well, first of all, the slopes are the same. Okay, so this has a slope of 3, this has a slope of 3, so they're clearly parallel. They, di they have different y-intercepts. This intercepts here at 5. And take a look at this line here, my sketch. It's going. It's intercepting way down here at some negative value. So negative 10, that would be a reasonable value in terms of the sketch. So you know what? y equals 3x minus 10 uh, kind of passes the you know, common sense check. You always want to look at your answers and ask yourself, hmm, does this answer uh, make sense? So... The better you're at, at you know, constructing quick graphs and sketches and stuff, it's just going to help you so much in algebra to kind of interconnect all these concepts. So uh, even if you don't do this, you should be able to do all these skills. 
And if you need help with graphing lines or finding the equation of lines, any of that stuff, I'm going to strongly suggest you check out my Algebra 1 course. Uh, you can find a link to it by going to my Math Help program. I also have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on linear equations, how to write linear equations. Again, critical skills if you are an algebra student. But if this particular video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.